Good morning and welcome to another day here on planet Earth. I am your Merry Gardener and this is Medium Latte Extra Hot, episode 172. Um, I'm going to talk about um, leaflet dropping for gardeners when they do a, a leaflet drop to advertise in their business. Uh, because it's a very, I, I love like the marketing and design. I love all that and I'm trying to up my knowledge on marketing and combine it with graphic design. And I've been getting a, um, into copywriting and copywriting is the words that's on your leaflet page. That is called copy and that is your copywriting. And if you are a good copywriter, you will get someone to read like the headline and then they will be compelled to com com continue reading. And if your copy isn't compelling or interesting, uh, it will not get, get read. There was another important fact I found after reading um, a book by a guy called Gary Holbert, which was, um, he's actually passed away now, but he was a genius copywriter and he used to do direct mail. He used to get um, mail sent in the post and he's made millions from copywriting and he used to write letters. And what he, one of the really interesting points that he made which makes complete sense when you when you hear it. When you get letters come through the mail, or you get, um, say, advertising like leaflets, most people will pick up the pile that comes through in the morning. They will um, separate them into junk mail and normal letters or bills. And there's two different piles. Generally, it's obvious which pile is which. So you've got A pile and you've got B pile. B pile would be the junk. Junk goes in the bin. Junk doesn't get read. So basically, your leaflet that you put through the door will go in pile B. And what Gary was trying to say to everyone and teach everyone is to, you want to get your letter, your advertisement into pile A. And how do you do that? Because it is important to get it in A because it's not going to get read. It's going straight in the bin. You've, you've spent money on this and it's going in their letterbox straight in their bin. So getting into pile A, which is the letter pile, is pretty, uh, makes complete sense, is to make it look like a letter. And Gary also used made a really good point. I'm going to be creating some of these, by the way, and I'm going to be... Um, I'm going to be coming up with ideas, creating the, the the leaflets and the marketing and all that sort of stuff and the design. And I'm going to sell them as a product eventually. I'm still learning, going for that learning process at the moment, but I'm coming up with a whole bunch of ideas. And the other thing was is to grab attention. There's lots of other elements to it. But number one is to get into pile A, which is looking like a letter. And then number two is grabbing their attention. So when they open that letter, there's something in there. They go, oh my God, what is this? And Gary, he used to sell property, right? Uh, in this scenario, he sold millions of different things. But in this scenario, he, what he was talking about, he sold property. And he used to put a bag of dirt in a little baggie with dirt inside in the letter. So when someone opened that letter, it felt heavy. Like, okay, this is strange. What's this? So immediately they're like, grabs their attention just because of the weight of it. A little letter. It's like, oh my God, it looks like a letter, but there's something in it. Opens it up and there's a bag of dirt in there. And they're like, what the heck? Why is someone sending me a bag of dirt? The interest that has grabbed. So I um, got me a thinking. So I've come up with an idea for a leaflet. Drop. I've got loads of ideas, by the way, but I'm going to give you this one for free. Uh, but eventually we're going to sell a bunch of these, um, is to put, like, I wouldn't recommend putting, <laughs> like, a bag of grass in there. But um, I was going to do an idea where you stick a blade of grass on there, and then then from that, there's, there's some word in the copy that I would add to that, but it will grab the attention, and then you go into um, who you are and what services you provide. And none of it's too in your face. It's written in letter form. And you, you grab interest, you tell a story, and then you say, this is what we do, and give us a call. So it's light, it's, 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 it's not like glarish in your face. This is what we do, blah, 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 blah. Too much didn't read. But you can have 
because I used to say that. I used to say too much didn't read, which was, in reality, it should be too boring didn't read. That's what it should be. I used to say too much didn't read. It used to be just like one sentence and then straight to. But people do want to have information. People will read if it's interesting enough, if your copywriting is good enough. And I've been reading up about copywriting and I've been learning about it and I'm going to put that to use. Um, no, I'd love to know what you guys think. So I know I saw Sam, the garden man. Um, I really like Sam. And Sam posted, it just popped up in my head because I've been reading about this. He's doing a leaflet drop. And I thought, okay, that's interesting because I'm learning about direct mail, but leaflet dropping is such an old school thing, but people still do it. And I don't know, are there leaflets going straight in the bin? Most likely they are. So this is a really good strategy to get your... Um, your name, your brand in, in pile A and actually read and like thought about and remembered. Do you know what I mean? You're not gonna forget someone sending you dirt or a bit of grass in the post, do you know what I mean? I would, wouldn't recommend selling a bunch of grass because it smells, it stinks and it goes rotten. But one blade of grass dried out, it stuck to the page. That's a really good idea, that grabs some attention. Why someone sent me a blade of grass? If you wanna take that and you wanna use that, um, go for it. Guys, I've gotta go, um, I've got a busy day. My hedge, I was supposed to take me two days. It's now actually taking, it's going to be two and a half days because I've done all the cuts now, but I've got a little bit of uh, leaf uh, clear up to do. Customers really happy what I've done so far. Actually, no, there's a tiny bit got cut plus clear up. <sighs> and ironic, it was one of my hardest jobs actually because purely because of the alleyway, really skinny alleyway and the uh, hedge has grown right over the alleyway into the neighbours. I'm not cutting it back all the way back to the alleyway. I'm cutting back just like some of it because it's just too much and it will thin out the hedge too much. So they've, they, from a council point of view, they have to be above a certain height so it's not hitting anyone's heads. So we've done that and we've taken it back so it's not going into the neighbours, but there's a good gap there. But then trying to get my ladder up to get the top done. Oh my God, that was hard work. Um, next year, I'm gonna, if they get me to come back, which they probably will, because they're really happy, it's probably the best they've ever seen, I think, because last time I saw it, it, someone else did it, it looked rubbish. And um, I'm gonna up my price, I think, an extra 200, because that was dangerous, it was terrifying, and a lot of faffing about, <sighs> like walking ladders round, uh, down the alleyway, the, um, all the leaf has dropped into two separate gardens. So I've got to go round then again to get into those gardens to clear up. I've got to drag all those bags out. I had to, I couldn't reach the full width. So I had to do a bit this side and then go back around the alleyway, go up there. Just the alleyway bit was a nightmare. Like just positioning the ladder, making sure I feel safe. It's all done and dusted now, but yeah. Tricky job deserves a high price. Guys, have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the morrow.